is an excuse or something. You don't even know what I'm talking about. I'm sorry. Let me re let me frame my discussion that I had earlier today on Twitter. Um, let me go to my post. Hold up. So. Okay, so here's my original post. There was somebody who posted a tweet by the name of Chris Kindred, and he said, I just want to know why Vikings? Everything is Vikings. Asia is right there. Africa is right there. Goddamn, give me anything else. And then I responded. I said, OMG, and facts. Why do people keep overlooking ancient Africa? And then... Somebody responded on my post and said, what part of ancient Africa? Ancient Ghana, the Mali Empire? How do you draw enough of a distinction between that and ancient Egypt? Do you mark, who do you market the game to? How do you introduce something new to compete with ancient Japan, Greece, Vikings, and Egyptians? And then I, um, I made a post where I retweeted him and I said, no disrespect, but this is never a question asked about any other culture that is typically represented in a game. I'm not trying to be hard up about it, but how do Americans, for example, relate to Nordic culture? We do not, but if it's interesting and packaged accordingly, we buy it. And then I also said to him, there are so many distinct cultures across Africa that can literally pick any one and they would feel vastly different from Egypt. And then I said, the aspiration should be at Ariane the game. That studio is Cameroonian and they made a wonderful game exploring the mythology of their culture. And then that same person was like, let me find, cause his responses were, I had to leave. <laughs> I had to just end the conversation because it was just getting stupid. And so he was like, because it's a good question, Ubisoft is not going to invest money in making a game that is distinctly rooted in the nuances of African culture. Other cultures are far more discussed and studied. Now, in a, if a black developer takes it upon themselves to create this, we have something. Literally, oh I just, God. which I literally just, yeah. which I literally just linked him to a Cameroonian developer, by the way who made that Aryan game. I don't know if you remember that. Yeah, yeah. And then I told him, I said, what makes you think that African histories aren't studied? And then he says, because they are not. You want white companies to spend millions of dollars creating a game that will only appeal to a small, minute of black gamers? The oh, same ones who Lord. primarily buy NBA 2K and Madden every year? It's not going to happen. So after that, you know, my what my people, yeah, that, my people went in. Yeah, that makes but I, I completely stopped. <laughs> I completely yeah, stopped responding. Yeah, yeah. My people went in though. So bless all my Twitter followers because I don't have the energy. I don't I do not do that back and forth. That's why I'm not on Twitter because like, <laughs> that's, I beat and beat your ass if you said that to me in real life. Like fact, like bro, like what? <laughs> and then I like, I just responded, okay, you... dot, dot, dot. <laughs> The only thing you didn't say <laughs> was chicken and watermelon, dog. Like, Basically, what are you talking about? like, and he was like, I, "Cause I just responded after I was like, okay, I'm over it. I just responded, dot dot dot, okay." And he's like, "You don't have to be upset about it. It's just the truth." And I was like, "I don't even. I'm not upset. It's just sad that you feel this way about this tough this subject, and then the fact that you really just really belittle black gamers. Like, I'm over it. Like, yeah. I'm done. Like, we have nothing else to talk about at this point." Like, there's a discussion to be had, because, like, you know, a lot of people feel like, well, we shouldn't be begging these white developers to make this, net and net, whatever. But, like, they do everything else. <laughs> so it's like, why can't we at least have a discussion? You got niggas in France, in France, making a game about Vikings. So if they can research <laughs> Vikings, my nigga, they could clearly go research the Zulu nation, you know what I'm saying? Or any other African, ancient African culture. Like, there's plenty of people who study this stuff that they could go talk to. 
there's plenty of people in Africa that you could talk to who actually live in the culture. It's like, I don't understand how y'all can do it for these, but you can't do it for these. And I'm not the kind of person that's like, oh, well, we got to demand it. Like, I don't care that much. I'm going to play if it's if it's good, I'm going to play it. But why can't we have the discussion? Like, the fact that he was so dismissive and then be little black gamers talking about, well, this game would only appeal to black. Like, don't get me wrong. Anti-blackness is very, very global. But if you have a developer like Ubisoft make it where it's mainstream and they package it well, people will buy it if it's interesting. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to give gamers credit. People like to learn about new things. So... I don't understand why he feels like if that game were to exist, only black people would want to play it. And then, when he was like, especially since the majority of black people play Madden and 2K, excuse me? Like, we're done. There's nothing else to talk about. Like, my nigga, I ain't played Madden since the Sega Genesis. I haven't played 2K since the Dreamcast. What are you talking about, dog? I don't play sports games. It ain't Jerry, <laughs> like, Jerry, yeah, I'm gonna tag you in it. I'm gonna tag you in it. <laughs> I always play sports games, my dude. Like, I, I think the last, I think the last sports game that I ever played was Mario Tennis, and like barely. And I don't even think that counts as a quote unquote black people game or whatever this dude is trying to say. Well, I just thought that like was 2K ridiculous. Right, I've like, never played 2K and Madden in my life. Not that there's anything yeah, wrong I mean, with playing 2K and Madden, but the fact that you nah. reduced the black gamers to that, I'm like, nope, bye. <laughs> and yet, Goodbye. We playing, like, street, we playing Streets of Rage right now. Right? Exactly. <laughs> That's why I was like, yep, this conversation's done. Because I was like, okay, if you have an intellectual counterpoint, I'll entertain you. But the moment you say... It would only appeal to a minute set of black gamers because everybody else is playing Madden and 2K? We're done! I have nothing else to say to you! Not at all. Bye. <laughs> I'm just glad that I have some very intelligent black gamers who follow me because they ate this nigga alive. <laughs> and it was amazing. And he really backed himself into a corner. Cause he really had no rebuttal after that that wasn't nonsense anyway i'm not saying attack people on twitter so please don't think i'm i'm inviting y'all to attack this nigga on twitter but the logic like there is none i mean it's a simple dialogue so he deserved it like we ain't like i don't i don't know why well, i didn't see it but i don't know if anybody was like threatening me. No, nah, nobody's been. Yeah, but to rebuttal his points, it is what it is. Get dragged, boy. Like, it'll be alright. You'll make. It. <laughs> and see, Reed. I'm not gonna get dragged. I also made that point because my homegirl, Mad Queen. And she didn't mean any disrespect about it. She just said, you know, that's just what it is. Like, that's what it is. She didn't mean any disrespect about it. But, you know, she was like, well, you know, Assassin's Creed Origins was <laughs> set in Africa. And then I said, girl, it was. But here's the thing, and this is no disrespect to my Middle Eastern, and, Middle Eastern and Arabic brothers and sisters, because y'all deserve representation too. But the fact of the matter is, every time they portray Egypt in a video game, they don't show you the sub-Saharan peoples who live there. It's always Arabic, Middle Eastern, possibly white passing Middle Eastern looking people in these games. And like I said, there's nothing wrong with that because like I said, Arabic people deserve also, they also deserve representation. But when I'm talking about a game set in Africa, I want to see niggas with kinky hair. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want to see some brown brown skin. I want to see full lips and noses. That's what I want to see. So when people are like, oh, well, you know, they did one in Egypt, like, that's great. But, like, there's so many different cultures in Africa that are not Egypt. Africa is an entire continent. You're telling me out of all the countries in Africa, there's only one aspect of Africa to show? Get out of here. I'm not here for it. 
And that's why I was very deliberate when I linked and I I, I, I tagged that Cameroonian developer because there's the presence in Africa as far as gaming is concerned, like gaming developers is not that high, but I've been following that team for a couple of years and they're trying to get it there. So if Ubisoft really wanted to, they could seek out those people who made Arion and like, hey, y'all are from Cameroon. Y'all know a lot about Cameroonian mythology. Come help us out in this Assassin's Creed game. We'll partner up with you. We'll give you resources. You know what I'm saying? Like, or at least if you don't want them to work on the game directly, use them as a resource to give you the tea on the culture. People do it all the time. Every time there's a video game that has some historical or mythologi mytholo mythological element, they talk to the people who are the experts. Literally, they don't just come up with it off the top of their head. They do the research. They talk to the people who know the tea. Why can't they do it for other cultures? I'm not saying they have to. I'm not boycotting Ubisoft. But this rhetoric that it takes too many resources to do it is nonsense when they literally are doing it anyway to look up Norse mythology, to look up Egyptian mythology and history, to look up anything about the American Revolution. You had to research it. It took resources. Get out of here. <laughs> what was that one on Vita that uh, had the- Assassin's Creed girl? Liberation. Yeah. So yeah, they they can do it. Um, I don't. Uh, I didn't play. Like I said, I don't play Assassin's Creed. So uh, I guess so. People didn't like Origins for it. Like I don't know. Like, exactly. See, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to catch you all. What were you saying? No, you good. No, I was just asking. Like people didn't like, like, like what was up with Origins? Like, is that why you were going off about? Uh, like, um, it was a certain type of people in the game. It wasn't like uh, straight black people. No, I wasn't. I wasn't particularly going off. But like, I don't. I'm not gonna say it's not an accurate representation of Africa because that time period happened in Africa. Not taking yeah. it away from that. But when, but people, people know what you talking about when they say they want to see Africans in video games. That's the one thing. You know what we talking yeah. about. You know oh, yeah. we talking about niggas that look like me. You know we talking about that. I'm not talking we about... We <laughs> want some spears being chucked, boy. I'm not talking about Arabic peoples, which I appreciate and love their cultures. But they know what I'm talking about. So I hate when people play dumb, like, oh, we're hopping in Egypt. Nigga, no! That's not what I'm talking about. <laughs> On top of the fact that ancient Egypt don't look like current Egypt. That's another thing niggas need to understand. And that's why C. Reed is absolutely right. Ancient Egyptians were Sudanese. Those niggas was black black with thick noses and lips. Kinky hair. Get out of here. <laughs> I'm just over it. Because people know exactly what you mean, but they act obtuse on purpose. I hate it. It gets on my nerves. And that's the only aspect of this conversation that bothers me. It's not the fact that a game like this doesn't exist, really. Because I understand that anti-blackness is global. It's not going to happen anytime soon. But when this conversation comes up, I hate when people act willfully obtuse. You know what I'm talking about. Anyway. I like black I'm boycotting the way you pronounce Ubisoft. I say Ubisoft, right? But I know people say Ubisoft, whatever. It don't matter. You know what I'm talking about, Afrodo. Don't make me go off on you next, boy, okay? Because you know I'm loud and I'm country and, and I'm ghetto on the side. So I could go on a tangent. But I'm done with that topic. That really got on my nerves. Jerion, I tagged you in that Twitter post. Enter at your own risk. Because there were some mind-numbing things coming from one particular person on that thread. Anyway. Anyway. Oh, anyway. Like, like, it was just 
that one person. It's not like a whole thread of idiots. But that one person is just so ignorant that it made my head hurt. I have to get off the thread. That's my point. <laughs> anyway, streets are ready to come. Bring it on. <laughs> Orb of oddness. Go off, queen. Yeah, I just... It just really bugs me. And then, <clears throat> also, I guess because of the fact that I'm a teacher, I really hate when people put misinformation and misguided opinions in the, in the atmosphere. Like, that really, really bothers me. Alright, this is the third time. <laughs> this is the kind of stuff Triforce would be mad about too. You know what? I probably I probably I'm sorry, it's, no, it's okay. I should have I should have probably uh linked him because he's actually doing some work in Africa. He's trying to get esports in Africa right now. And so if anybody's knowledgeable on the subject, it's him. I should have tagged him. Esports. But I know if I tagged him, he would have been off off. That thread would be so long. <laughs> yeah, he be down there. <laughs> he really do. He probably got real work to do. Leave, leave him be. <laughs> but yeah, cause like he's actually trying to get esports going on in, in Africa. Ugh. You it's enjoying funny, uh, throwing the facts at him, though. I don't like talking about this kind of stuff out in the open because there's too many idiots. I'm going to be real with you. Like, I like dropping knowledge and facts, but it's exhausting, so I just don't do it that often. I just let people be stupid. Go ahead and get that turkey, though. Yo, this music is tight. I like how Blaze more or less has the same outfit that she had in the old games, but except she wears a jacket. Like, girl, you know that's the same outfit. <laughs> all you did was this put a jacket my on. Joint. I know, right? Literally, all she did was put a jacket on. Like, you still wear the same oh, yeah. clothes, girl, but it don't matter because you cute. You gotta play this music at your B day party. 